Welcome to the installation, commissioning, and operation guide for the NCH8 modular contactor. Before beginning, please disconnect the power source and wear insulating gloves and protective goggles. Prepare wire strippers, crimping tools, appropriately sized wires, wire lugs, screwdrivers, insulating gloves, and a multimeter. Before starting the installation, please read the instruction carefully to ensure the contactor model matches the intended working conditions and select a suitable installation location. The technique involves first aligning the top of the contactor with the upper edge of the ding rail, then pressing down on the bottom of the contactor to ensure it is correctly secured. If disassembly is needed, use a flathead screwdriver to press on the actuating part gently, lift the bottom of the contactor slightly to detach it from the ding rail, and tilt it forward to remove smoothly. Before starting the wiring steps, ensure to select wires with the appropriate cross-sectional area based on the product's current rating, as recommended in the instruction. First. Use the wire strippers to carefully strip off the outer insulation of the copper wire for 10 to 12 millimeters, ensuring that the exposed length of the copper wire is appropriate. Next, using crimping pliers, securely crimp the wire lugs onto the ends of the copper wires to ensure a reliable connection. For the NCH8, Users can choose either top entry or bottom entry wiring according to installation needs. Users should wire according to R1, 1, 3, R3 is the main circuit input terminals, and R2, 2, 4, R4 as the main circuit output terminals, with A1 and A2 for the coil connection terminals. Finally, use an electric screwdriver set to the specified torque value to tighten the wires. Ensuring that the torque matches the specified value is crucial as it ensures the stability and safety of the connection. Once these steps are completed, the wiring part is finished. After powering up, use a multimeter to conduct a continuity test on the main contacts of the contactor. To verify normal operation. If problems occur, please refer to the fault analysis and troubleshooting guide. We will introduce diagnostic methods and solutions for common faults, such as the relay not operating or misoperating. For more information, please visit our official website, or get in touch with our local representatives for assistance.